So I've been a beekeeper for about 30 years. I'm also a professor at the University of Florida. People always want to know my opinion about how I keep my bees. And I've thought about this a lot, right? Should you use one brood box or two? Should you use mediums or deep? Should you use shallow? Should you use eight frame or 10 frame? You know, what's, what's your hive configuration? That's, that's kind of the lingo I use, hive configuration. Jamie, how do you configure your hives? Well, it is important that I tell you this and that you hear it clearly. There is no right answer to that question. Beekeeping is, is you know, 90% fact and 10% art. The fact is bees swarm. The fact is varroa kill bees. The fact is viruses are bad. The fact is sometimes we need to feed, et cetera, et cetera. But the opinion is you can use excluders or not. You can use eight frames or not. You can use styrofoam boxes or wood boxes. The truth is I don't care. That part is the 10% art. It's making beekeeping yours. So there's really no right answer to this question. So instead of telling you what I think is right, I'll just tell you what, what I do. I tend to use one deep box as my brood chamber. I use a 10 frame box. I use an excluder. And then I use a medium super, 10 frames. So my standard hive configuration is screen bottom board, deep Langstroth 10 frame box, metal queen excluder, medium super, and that medium super is their food super. It's what always has the honey necessary for the bees to survive year round. Now, a lot of people will in turn say, well, Jamie, if we use two brood boxes, we use two deeps for brood boxes, my queens can produce twice as much brood in, in, in our colonies that your queens can in yours. And I'm like, well, that's fine. But I, I have been able to manage colonies in a single brood box and a single medium super to be as strong as people who manage two brood boxes or three medium supers. So I'm more convinced that how you manage in those hive configuration is more important than what configuration you use. I'm pretty convinced that I can keep a single deep with a medium as strong as anybody can keep two deeps. So, you know, to me, the argument's not that important. Well, essentially what you really need is you need at least the volume of a deep for brood. So a deep is about a medium and a half or about two shallows. So if you elect to use shallows, you've got to use two of them for that one deep. Then you need about a medium super's worth of honey for them to survive throughout the year. So if you use two deep brood boxes, what you're going to see is that bees tend to put about one brood box worth of food in the bottom most box, maybe a little bit of, sorry, brood in the bottom most box. They might have a little bit of brood in the upper box, but then they're going to fill the rest of that with honey. That's about a medium super's worth of honey. So if you think about it, strategically, it's not the configuration that's important, it's the volume. And the standard volume that has to get a colony through the year is about a deep box and a half, right? So about a deep box and a half. So that's about a deep and a medium, or three shallows, or three mediums, or two deeps. That's about the volume that they need. The bees will sort the rest out themselves. So Again, I give you permission to use the hive configuration you want to use. Just for the sake of telling you, I use a deep and a medium year round.